So now I'm in uh, a big market area. There are big markets like all around me and the streets like you can see behind me are uh, kind of filled with vendors on the sidewalks. So I'm gonna go down that street behind me. Uh, you can also hear uh, some flute uh, that's being played um, in the background. It's like there are people kind of playing flute on the street. So it has a very uh, exotic uh, feel because of uh, the music. Uh, yeah, so here I am walking down this small market street. Uh, it's pretty incredible, right? It's just like so much food. You see those uh, red pineapples. Uh, we're coming up to some chicken. And again, if you want to buy some chicken, there it is. Um, I'm not sure if those are bananas. Uh, they might be plantains. Lots of corn, different kinds of corn. It's pretty cool to see like how corn is so different here from what you know we're used to thinking of corn back in Canada right which is we have that one particular type of corn here there are many like many types of corn still going yeah lots of chicken um, chickens really popular like if you go to restaurants here most of the restaurants serve basically chicken um, so you eat a lot of chicken here. Uh, so I hope you like chicken. Um, I have noticed there are restaurants. They're probably catering to, again, more North American or Western uh, clients that uh, want uh, vegetarian options. And I've seen even like gluten-free advertised. Um, here's a little dog having a nap. Um, that's probably, that, that dog is probably owned by Maybe the shopkeeper and is um, and is uh, not like a stray dog. Um, I'm guessing because there are certain dogs that just hang out at the shops. Yeah, a lot of meat. Uh, it's available for sale. Those are some pretty humongous-looking steaks. That's pretty amazing. Uh, again, back in Canada, we wouldn't be displaying meat uh, kind of out in the open like this but uh, this is obviously how it's uh, done in Peru and again the food here is very fresh so I'm gonna guess see all the corn here I'm gonna guess that that meat is very freshly butchered and they're probably uh, trying to sell it today into the local restaurants uh, for c consumption pretty quickly because um, I don't think yeah it could it could keep for very long here so yeah keep coming down the street you'll kind of see uh, a lot of big fruits like this big melon uh, maybe this is a pumpkin I have no idea what that is exactly it looks amazing um, yeah the fruit here is really amazing uh, there's some dark purple corn that looks incredible Maybe I'll have to try some of that later. Um, and as you can see, as I just keep walking down the street, like it just doesn't end, right? There's just so many people and uh, so many different kinds of food and it's all very fresh. Um, there's mushrooms, roots, carrots, uh, always lots of corn though. That's sort of the, the staple. We're going down a hill now and then yeah, maybe I'll switch over switch the camera around and uh, talk a little bit that way so yeah I've been walking down this just incredible market street that has uh, just incredible food so uh, it's a little bit of a steep hill but I'm going downhill so I'll um, kind of walk and talk while uh, I go down this hill um, the main thing I would say about this area is that um, just seeing the variety of the food uh, that's sort of out here. Uh, I think if you wanted to eat uh, something different every day, you know, there seems to be like so much variety. It all looks incredibly fresh and uh, smell, like the smell is incredible. You can smell the food. Um, you know, I the prices here are like extremely low compared to what I think we would be used to paying in Canada or the United States. Um, so again, if uh, you're interested, it's just a really great place to come and shop. Now I'm gonna turn the camera because there's some like meat behind me. So if you, you have a weak stomach, uh, 
just be aware. Here we go. Yeah. And you see that a lot. There's a lot of uh, just like fresh meat out on display. And that's very unusual, right, for, for me to see that. Here are some dogs going by on my left. You can probably see them in the frame. Yeah, I'm not sure where they're off to. Probably the smell of the meat is very attractive to them. Okay, so I'm coming off the cobble street now into what's a little bit more what I call the developing part of Peru. So again, I'll switch the camera. I'll just rotate actually, so you can kind of see how I went from a cobble street. And now that street is really unfinished. People are walking on plywood. Uh, they're standing water in the street. You probably wouldn't want to stand in that water. <laughs> it's probably pretty dirty. Uh, if you look behind me, again, so you kind of see this transition from very developed areas, uh, a few big boulevards with these beautiful buildings, to like a touristy area, to a market area. And now I think I'm getting back into an area where people just live. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, th this isn't a wealthy part of the world. And so, uh, you know, it, that's why it looks the way it does. But it's, you know, pretty amazing to be here. And, you know, it makes me feel very lucky, right, that I get to travel and uh, visit, you know, such incredible places.